Quantum computing isn't just a step forward, it's rewriting the very fabric of reality. With the power to process information in ways we can't even fully comprehend, these machines could change everything we know about data, privacy, and even our own existence. Are quantum computers tearing apart reality, and can we stop it? Quantum computing is, in simple terms, a new way of processing information that completely rewrites the rules of what we thought was possible. In classical computing, we use bits, which are either a zero or a one, but in quantum computing, we have quibits. These quantum bits can be zero, one, or both at the same time, thanks to a phenomenon called superposition. Picture it sort of like a coin spinning in the air. While it's spinning, it's both heads and tails until it lands. The point is, this ability to exist in multiple states simultaneously means quantum computers can solve these complex problems much faster than regular computers ever could. This new computing power is not just better, it operates on the quantum level of physics, which is already a mind-bending, unpredictable realm. So when you harness this kind of power, you could say you're playing around with the very fabric of the universe. And with quantum computers growing more powerful, who knows? knows what kind of unintended consequences might ripple out into our reality. So as we develop more advanced quantum computers, there are ethical concerns that need to be addressed. What happens when we build a machine capable of manipulating the very laws of reality? Who controls this power? Quantum computers could be used for purposes we can't even fathom yet, potentially causing damage we can't undo. There's a real risk that in our quest for technological progress, we open doors we will not be able to close, and as we become more dependent on them, we could find ourselves at the mercy of machines that we no longer understand or control. Should there be regulations to limit the power of quantum computers? What safeguards need to be put in place? The power of quantum computing could reshape our world in ways we can't even begin to predict, and that might not be for the better. Quantum computers are changing the game in ways we can't fully grasp. See, traditional computers are clear, they're predictable, at least a lot more than quantum computers. They give an old computer a task, it processes it bit by bit, and the result is something that makes sense. But as mentioned before, quantum computers use quibits, and these quibits don't behave like regular bits. They exist in multiple states at the same time, Once, which means they don't follow the same rules that we're used to. They operate on a level that is far more complex and unpredictable. With quibits, quantum computers can explore this vast range of possibilities simultaneously, which gives them a massive advantage over traditional computers when it comes to solving certain types of problems. Quantum computers can handle multiple potential outcomes all at once. Imagine you're running a simulation, and instead of just getting one possible outcome, you see all the different possibilities at once. This is what quantum computers can do. They can process all the potential results at the same time, which could have a huge impact on things like predicting the weather, designing new medicines, trying to map out how the economy might change. Quantum computers are already being used in the real world. Some companies are building machines that can solve problems that would normally take a regular computer millions of years, but these quantum computers can do it in just seconds. So again, are we gonna be able to control this type of technology? Now, one of the most terrifying dangers when it comes to quantum computing is its potential for hacking. Today, our entire world is built on digital systems, from online banking to government databases to our personal information. All of this is protected by encryption, secure codes that keep sensitive data safe. But quantum computers threaten to break through all of that in the blink of an eye. See, encryption systems are based on problems that are very difficult for traditional computers to solve, problems that would take classical computers millions of years to crack, but a quantum computer armed with the right algorithm could solve these problems almost instantly. This means the encryption systems that we rely on to secure everything from credit card numbers to highly sensitive classified information could be breached in seconds. So there's a very big fear that once quantum computing becomes mainstream, Stream, not only can people's bank accounts and OnlyFans passwords get hacked, the entire digital world can get hacked. Every password you have, every private conversation, every secret in the government's vault could be exposed. You think you're safe? Quantum computers 
will leave you with no place to hide. We could be facing a world where privacy as we know it just no longer exists. And that's gonna bring us to the next point. Quantum computing could potentially lead to an entirely new form of warfare. Now, we're used to cyber attacks that rely on good old fashioned computing power. There are some very skilled hackers out there, but quantum computers, they have the potential to break encryption at a level that's just far beyond anything we're currently capable of. Imagine someone gaining access to the most secure military and government secrets in seconds just by using a quantum algorithm that can crack codes faster than you can blink. Breaking into military communications, stealing advanced research, all of this could happen without leaving a trace even because as we've covered, traditional cybersecurity, which relies on encryption, just couldn't stand up to quantum computing. But it's not just about stealing information. Real danger is the possibility of turning quantum computing into a tool for manipulation. Think about it, with the computing power of a quantum machine, someone could potentially mess with critical stuff like changing the coordinates of a missile striker or hijacking automated drones. If quantum computing falls into the wrong hands, we're not talking about simple, inconvenient hacks here. We're talking about a complete shift in how warfare could be waged. This goes way beyond cyber warfare as we know it today. Quantum computing could make conventional defense systems obsolete and create new kinds of weapons that we can't even fathom. And on the other side of the coin, if quantum computing is weaponized for surveillance, we could be looking at a world where privacy is, again, a thing of the past. But this time, I'm not talking about hacking. I'm talking about government-mandated surveillance. Governments and corporations could use quantum computing to crack open our most secure communications, watching everything we do online. Total surveillance. Constantly monitoring everything from our social media posts to our personal health data to where we are. And this could happen in real time. Imagine a world where no conversation, no transaction you make, no private email is really safe. A quantum surveillance system could intercept, decrypt, and analyze everything, all while remaining nearly impossible to detect. All that private information you thought was secure, it's now a potential target for anyone with access to a quantum computer. Quantum computers don't just solve problems. They're opening up possibilities that we haven't even thought about. They have the potential to uncover truths about the universe that could completely shake our understanding of reality. If they're capable of simulating these complex systems with precision, they could eventually help us unlock mysteries like how the universe began or even the nature of time. It sounds crazy and pretty cool, but what if quantum computers give us access to data that reveals things like alternate realities or future events? If they can compute possibilities beyond our comprehension, there's a chance they might allow us to tap into realms of existence we didn't even know were possible, in a sense. See, in a quantum system, every decision has multiple outcomes, but we only experience one. Quantum computers, by processing those outcomes simultaneously, might be able to tell us about other timelines or like parallel universes where different versions of our decisions play out. It sounds crazy, but it's not that far-fetched when you consider how quantum mechanics operates. So the question becomes, what else could quantum computers reveal? They could be taking us on a path toward discovering things that we're just not prepared to understand. And if they open these doors, we might find that our current view of reality is just a narrow sliver of what's actually possible. As quantum computing advances, we're entering a territory that is less about control and more about surrendering to the power of something that we just can't fully understand. Right now, scientists are excited about the potential of quantum computers, and understandably so. They could simulate complex systems in ways that could completely revolutionize everything from healthcare to material science. But again, quantum computers don't behave predictably. They could be incredibly hard to control. Because quibits are so fragile and sensitive to their environment, quantum computers are prone to errors as well. So sure, they're amazing when they work, but as they become more advanced, they're also becoming unpredictable. Imagine a situation where you're relying on a quantum computer to solve a critical problem and it just 
breaks down or gives an unexpected result. It could simulate things like climate models or predict economic shifts, but if no one can control it, we might find that these machines could go off track in ways that we could have never anticipated. The more powerful these computers become, the more they can be out of our hands. It's like building a tool that's so powerful it can change the world, but no one's sure whether it will be used for good or bad. And if scientists and engineers who build these machines can't predict their behavior, then what happens when they do run wild? What happens when quantum computing becomes too much for even the experts to handle? And despite all the potential, quantum computing technology is progressing rapidly with major advancements happening each year. But again, who's overseeing its development? Who is preparing for the potential consequences of disrupting reality as we know it. The moment quantum computers become truly uncontrollable, will we be ready to handle it? Could we reach a tipping point where quantum computers break reality entirely, where the line between the virtual and real becomes impossible to extinguish? With all that said, I've been your host, James, and I'll catch you, yes, you specifically, in the next video.